Hi. So in today's video, we are going to learn how to make your preschool logo post ready. Okay. So I'm sure everyone has your own logo. Some of you might have a text logo. Some of you might have a picture logo. Okay. Or uh, again, the logo types are different. So some some of you might have a logo on a white background. Some of you might have a logo which has a blue background. Okay. Now what happens is when we create these posts tomorrow, the templates that I'm going to provide you. Okay. Do all these 180 posts, the templates which I have, these are with different backgrounds. Okay. So month wise, there's a different color code that we've taken up and accordingly each post will some post might be white, some might have a blue background, some might have a gray background, green, blue, anything. So now to make sure your logo is visible on these posts on any kind of backgrounds, we'll have to make them post ready. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go to Canva. Okay. So canva.com last time we have uh, already, I've already shown you how to log in, how to sign up on Canva and how to create your, how to subscribe for the premium account. So I hope you've done that. So now go to login and sign up with your, uh, sign in with your Gmail account. Okay. Just hold on. Continue. Okay. So we, we, you have, I have now logged in into Canva. The very first thing that you have to do is go to create a design. Okay. Click here and then you will see a list of different design formats. Okay. Click on Instagram post square design. Okay. Which is 1080 by 1080 pixel. Okay. Click on that. And then there'll be a new canvas, which will be shown. Okay. There's a square canvas that is shown. This is a fresh canvas. Now we are going to add your school logo here. And then I'm going to show you, I'll be showing you with three different type of logos. Okay. So any kind of logo that you have accordingly, you can uh, edit that first. Just let's name this file as I'm going to name it as preschool logo. Okay. You can uh, mention your school name and uh, then mention logo and save, uh, create a file like this. Okay. Now, once we have done that, <clears throat> I'm going to go on uploads. Okay. On your left hand side, you will see there's an upload button. Okay. Click on uploads and then click on upload files. Okay. Now I have taken three logos. So I'm going to show you how to edit these logos on these, these three different logos. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me first show you one type of logo, which is rectangle in shape. Okay. And which has a white background. Okay. So now I'm going to upload this. So you'll see the logo has been uploaded here. Okay. Now I'm going to just click on it so that it is, it comes on our main canvas. Okay. Now let me first enlarge it a bit. Okay. So you can just mm -hmm. click on here, click on this point and scroll it from both ends. Okay. Make sure that this is in the center. Okay. So when you scroll it, you will see these two lines. That means the logo is now center aligned. Okay. So now the very first thing that we have to do is because this logo is on a white background. Okay. There's one good benefit that if the post that we are creating has a blue background, okay. Let's say it has a dark blue background like this our logo will be visible. Okay. The only problem is if 
our post has a white background okay like this or this okay our logo will not be visible i mean it will be visible but the rectangle shape won't be visible okay so let me first show you when it has say for example a blue background okay now there is not much of changes that you will have to do here a slight change which i'll show you which will make sure which will uh look make your logo look much more professional okay and when you put it on your uh, posts it will stand out okay so right now this file is such that it has they had they, the logo is not having any curved corners okay so now click on the logo okay and then you will see this sign okay with when you take your mouse there it is shown as border style click on that okay and then you will see corner rounding so basically what this is going to do is these edges okay the corners which are not rounded right now we'll make them slightly rounded okay so i'm going to increase this and you can see the logo the corners are changing here okay they are getting in round, round in shape okay so i'm going to keep it at around 65 okay now you will see the logo is looking better than before okay so now i'm going to remove this blue background okay so now one logo is ready which is white in color and which has where, wherein we have also done the rounded corners okay now i am going to click on copy okay so when i copy there is one more page that has been created okay so now what we are going to do is in this first page what we have done is we have designed we have made this logo we haven't changed its background color okay we have kept it as white but we have just made it round in shape now the same logo which we have rounded what i'm going to do is now suppose if this logo is to be posted uh, is to be added on a white background post okay and uh, in my tomorrow session you will have more clarity in terms of what i'm saying right now because tomorrow we are actually going to design these posts and i'm going to show you how to add the logos okay so that time there will be better clarity right now you just see that uh, what i'm going to do to this logo which is with a white background okay i'm going to click on it go to edit okay when you go to edit <clears throat> you will see there are multiple options now all these options the reason why i told you to subscribe to the pro version is because all these options won't be available in the free version of canva okay so now if you look, scroll down you will see there is a effect called as shadows okay now let's click on that <clears throat> and when you click on it you will see there are multiple options here for shadow i am going to use i am going to use glow okay so what happens is when you click on glow see your logo automatically has got a shadow okay so now let's so this is how we want it you can also increase the size of the shadow okay but i think right now 20 is enough okay so let's go back now you'll see that our logo even if it's on a white background it is very much clearly visible okay now i think the round corners have gone so let's make it again a bit rounded okay so now because of the shadow the rounds are not very clearly visible but that's fine okay when you uh, anyways we are going to use a smaller version of this logo okay so this is how we have edited our existing logo in this case what we did is we created those round corners okay 
and in this case in case we have to use it on a white background i have given the logo a slight shadow so that even if we put it on a white background it is going to be visible okay now i am going to show you how to download these logos okay first of all if you've added any color in the background just remove it okay we'll name these two logos okay now this logo we'll name it as logo dash rounded corner okay and the second logo we'll name it as logo dash shadow okay now let's first download the first logo now there's one thing very important which you have to note uh, go to share <coughs> you will see a download button here okay when you click on download you will see there are different options here file type png file is the suggested file that is selected we need that only okay so click on png then you will see this transparent background okay you have to check this box okay why we are doing this is because if we don't click this the logo will be downloaded as square along with this background as white okay we don't want that we want the file of the logo only to be this one and not with the background okay so that's why i've clicked on transparent background and i'm going to select page 1 here okay first i'm downloading logo with rounded background okay so that i'm going to select that done and then download okay it's downloading now i'll show you i'll open it and show you how the logo has been downloaded okay let me open it it's downloading okay now i'm going to open it see the background is not downloaded only the logo is downloaded along with the rounded corners okay now let's download the second logo so i scroll down again i go to share again have a look how i am downloading so go to download png yes correct that is what we want again select on transparent background okay and scroll down and select page number 2 logo with shadow okay now click on done and click on download now i'm going to again open this and show you so it's downloading now now let's open it see of course it is on a black background that's why the shadow is not visible okay but tomorrow when i use these logos on different posts you will see how they are seen even on any backgrounds okay so this is what i did with a logo which was which already had a white background and which has round uh, wherein we created rounded corners we added shadow okay now i am going to upload one more logo okay just to show you now see i have one more logo which is of kidzy this is a recent updated word, uh, logo of kidzy okay so let's open this and i am going to click here and add a new page okay you don't have to do that i am doing it because i am showing you multiple logos right now so the logo is uploaded here okay i am going to click on it so it comes here okay now the very first thing that we have to do is i don't want this white background so see if i add color to the background you will see that logo is in a square shape although the actual logo is only here because this is a jpeg file it is showing as square 
okay and it's showing is uh, showing the white background now most of the schools what they do is when they use their logos they just simply upload this logo like this along with the white background so it looks like a patch okay don't do that i'm going to show you how you do this okay so click on this image go to edit what i'm going to do now is i don't want a white background i just want these this logo to be as the file okay so i'm going to click on remove bg remove okay when you click on edit go to re bg remove okay again this feature is only available in the pro version so again i'm going to tell you buy the pro version subscribe for it even if it's for a day or a week buy it because uh, otherwise you won't be able to uh, have all these features okay so it's removing the background let's wait okay so now the background is removed okay i'll show you the difference now if i add a background color let's add yellow see white background is completely removed okay i am just going to crop this like this we no don't need that part okay so now what we did is we just removed the background and we made it a transparent file okay so now whenever there is a yellow background or even maybe our posts are having a red background still our logo is going to be visible wherever we put it okay so one part of logo is done okay let me name it as logo without background okay now we'll create one more version of this okay so i'm going to duplicate this page okay now i'm going to rename it as logo with white border okay so this logo i have named it as white without back background and the uh, second logo that we are going to uh, create is going to be with white background okay now click on the image i mean click on the logo again go to edit okay come down go to shadows now when you go to shadows earlier we had used glow okay this time we are going to use outline okay the shadow feature which is outline now click on outline by default you will see a black outline is created okay but we don't want a black background right black doesn't look good so i am going to change this color so go down here you will see a black color here click on it and right now it's on black so just drag it and take it completely to this corner which is white okay and click somewhere else so now we have this logo and it has a white border to it okay let me show you how it looks so once this is done just click on the canvas and i'm going to add a background so that you see i'm going to add a purple background to this just to show you how the white border is uh, making the logo stand out see so now why we did this is if this particular logo is to be used on a background which is say dark in color so instead of this color i am going to also switch it to say black okay still our logo is visible even if i turn it into say red still our logo is very much standing out from the post no matter what background it has okay so now let me again resize it make bring it in the center and remove this color background color okay so what we did is we created two logos right now i mean we recreated we redesigned them the first which was rectangle we added round curves 
similar logo we just added a shadow a black shadow then when we designed we redesigned the kidzy logo we just removed the background and we created we used it without the background and here we have added a white border to this logo okay again now when you have to download these okay i'm going to download this right now so go to share download png is already selected i'm going to click on this transparent okay select first i'm going to uh, unselect all pages and i need this page number 3 without background so i'm going to click that and click on done and download so now the logo which is getting downloaded is this one which is without the background let me open it okay close it now let's download the second one share download png is already selected when you download these logos please do not forget to check this box transparent background otherwise it will come get downloaded along with this white background okay and then select fourth okay let me unselect all and then choose only the fourth which is with border okay click on done download and it's downloading so if i open this you will see see it has come down it been downloaded with a white background okay one more last logo i'm going to show you okay there are chances that your logo might be something like this okay i'm going to upload one more logo now you if you see this particular logo which is of a preschool named uh, shiksha by pickle bumps okay it is a square logo but it already has the background is a part of the logo okay so in this case we cannot remove the background or we shouldn't remove because it's a part of the logo so i'm going to show you again just like we did in the first logo i am first going to take this here okay and i am going to click on this go to border style and give it a rounded border so again i am going to give it up up to 65 and see the same logo which was having uh, corners i have just made them curved just to make it look better okay again i am going to name it as logo say with rounded corners see you name it so that when tomorrow when we need these files these logo files you can easily download uh, upload these files on canva again okay now let me download this so share download png is already selected transparent background go to this unselect all pages and just select logo with the last one and download okay so the logo that we recently downloaded is now with curved corners okay if you want you can also add one more copy of this and give a border to this okay so that's how we have to make your uh, you have to make your logos ready so that they are they can be used tomorrow in our session in uh, when we actually design the social media posts okay so tomorrow when i release the next video or if you are watching it once it has already released please do not go move to the next session before till the time you have created your logos recreated them either with rounded corners with borders or with shadows okay move to the next video only once you have finished this and you have downloaded these logos i'll show you you 
when you download them they will be seen somewhere here okay in your downloads okay so please do this if you have any queries even in the earlier videos you can always comment in the below section so that uh, i'll read your comments and i'll uh, answer your queries okay so i hope you have understood this video and uh, i'll be seeing you in the next video tomorrow bye